go ahead and open up QGIS. All right, first off, just look at the, uh, the spaces on the screen. We have, this is where uh, the map canvas space. This is where all of your data will be visualized. Over here, we've got two tabs. One is layers, which is when you have data showing up here, it'll show up in the layers and whatever is appearing on top will be on top. And then there's the browser, which shows us where our actual files are being stored on the computer. So if you download files from the internet, you know, I usually keep all of mine right on the desktop and I'll be making a new folder under desktop for um, this next demo. We're just gonna make a simple map of Vermont and New Hampshire of the towns in this video. And the first thing I wanna do is, I don't have any of that data yet, but I wanna get a base map so that I don't have to make it myself. So to get a base map, um, I'm gonna go up to plugins and there's one plugin that you're really gonna want um, for this program. So go to manage and install plugins. And all plugins are, are just very small kind of apps or applications that run alongside of uh, QGIS. And so all you're gonna do at the top is just type in open layers and that shows right up right there. And look, it got four stars, it's not bad. Um, so all you're gonna do is say install plugin. And hopefully it works for you. Okay. And what this does is this lets us look, if we go to plugins and look at open layers, it lets us use any of these base maps from a lot of web um, kind of companies on the web that have their layers. So Yahoo's got a street layer, hybrid satellite, Bing has a road aerial, and of course, Google. Let's use Google satellite and we'll just, we'll add that. This plugin streams all of Google's imagery from the internet, which is kind of nice and lets us get you know, good imagery without having to store it all on our computer. So if you're not connected to the internet, none of this would have just worked. You know, you wouldn't have been able to get your plugin or any of that. So the first thing is how do I move around? How do I move the map around? Well, you can go up here and use the pan tool and you can click and drag and move that around. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel or you can grab um, the zoom tool. I'm gonna zoom right into New England because that's where I'm from. And we wanna make a map of Vermont and, Mass and uh, New Hampshire, which kind of sit next to each other in this region. I'm gonna zoom in one more time, a little closer. You can start to see the patterns on the landscape. It's pretty cool, but we don't have any data besides imagery yet, right? So we see uh, oh, that must be Burlington, right? And that's Portland, Maine, and this is Boston. But we, we want to have labels and outlines of states. So to do that, I got to go and download um, the data. And what I'd like is I'd like a file that shows me every town in Vermont, all the outlines, and every town in New Hampshire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this program going. I'm just going to minimize it. Go on to... Um, I'm going to use Firefox, but you can use whatever you'd like. I'm going to just do a Google search for, uh, let's start with Vermont. I can just say Vermont GIS, see what happens. And boom, perfect. This is a great resource for you Vermonters. It's called VCGI. It's the Vermont Center for Geographic Information. And I can open that up and there's a lot to explore, but I want to get right down to business. So I go into data and imagery. And if you have a lot of time, you can search all around. They've got a lot of good imagery um, every year, but let's just go to boundaries because that's what we're here for. And whenever you see something that says political, that will be the town and county boundaries. Um, cadastral boundaries, this has to do with parcel data, which is who owns what land. And a lot of times you'll see census boundaries and census boundaries are how they take uh, the census, which aren't exactly by town all the time. But I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm gonna say go boundaries. And oh my gosh, look at all this complicated stuff. Well, let's not 
get worried about it yet. Let's just see, there's probably one file in here that we want. Uh, Vermont County Boundaries. Well, that's nice, but what about the towns? Um, so, Master, Village, Town, County, and State Boundary Data. That sounds pretty good. So let's try this one. You go here and hit Download. And it's waiting. It says, okay, what do you want to do? Open it, and it's going to come as a zipped file. Uh, which just means that they've bundled it in a way that it, it doesn't take forever to download. So we say save file, we say OK. And I'm going to go ahead and look for New Hampshire GIS. New Hampshire, New Hampshire GIS. New Hampshire Statewide GIS Clearinghouse, the data clearinghouse. Great. NH Grant. OK. Go here and let's do the same thing. I'm not as familiar with this website, but I think we'll be able to find it okay. Download free data. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Data download. Use the Granite Data Discovery Tool. Um, that would be okay. Let's just, I wanna see, I wanna see if, if they list it by category. I think that might be easier. I don't wanna, I mean, we can explore that later, but let's do this one. Good, this looks great. Administrative and political boundaries. You can get congressional districts, council district boards, political boundaries. This is what I think we want because um, political boundaries have to do with townships and not uh, voting patterns. So let's just hit the I here. It says uh, more, more information. And yeah, that looks good. I think that looks like what we want. So I'm gonna go back. Go to political boundaries and hit download. Okay, it brings us to a new page. We want a shape file. So the first big lesson here is we have imagery, right? Like we've been seeing and you see on Google Maps all the time. And we're streaming our imagery offline. You can download it sometimes, but it's a little more difficult and we're not going to deal with that now. But there are kind of two types of data. One is imagery and these base maps. Um, and the other are called uh, vector files, which are just uh, lines and points and polygons. Polygons meaning just shapes. And KMZ is, is for Google Earth. This is called a it's called Keyhole Markup Language, and this is a zipped version, so it's called KMZ. If you hear KML or KMZ, that's for Google Earth. But a shape file, SHP, is kind of the universal, it's the industry standard for vector data. And um, if you need to refresh on what vector and raster data are, you can check out the video on that. But I'm gonna download the shape file and say, okay, download. And again, it's asking me what do you wanna do? And I'm gonna say, save the file. Great. And let's just see if everything's downloaded. Yep, there it is. So I've got, my New Hampshire data, and I've got my Vermont data. And there are a couple ways to do this. You could, if you want, um, right click and uh, you know either unzip it or you can go and you can get one of these uh, programs. It's called 7-Zip. But what you can also do is just kind of open these up. You see how I just opened it like a folder? And you can just drag it out. Okay. So now all of that is set to go. I'll do the same here. This one looks like it's got a little bit more, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to make a folder here for what we're doing. So new folder, and let's just call this VTNH. And that means that I'm going to put all of these files into this folder, and this is my, my project folder. So now I'm going to go in here and just drag all of this to my project folder. And it looks like we're good to go. So I hope you followed all that. If not, just remember to make a project folder, um, extract these into the project folder, either by just opening them and dragging, or 
if you want to go through, you can unzip them. And it's called extracting from a zipped file. Because um, almost everything you download from the internet is going to be zipped. Great. So now we have our data. Let's go back into the GIS program. And now what we're going to do is go and find that data. And let's see, where is it? Let's refresh our library. So I'm in the browser now. I'm going to start calling it browser because that's what it is, but it's like a library. And hit refresh. And OK, here we go. So it, sh it shows my zip files, which I don't want. And it shows my folder. If I open this, there's our data, right? So um, it looks a little intimidating, but all we really care about are the polygon-shaped icons. So those ones that say the end in .shp. Let's bring in New Hampshire first. Let's see what PBA is. I just want to see. Drag it in. Let's drag another one, PBP. There we go. So uh, that's New Hampshire. That's pretty cool. And let's do Vermont now. Which one of these do we want to try? Let's try, let's try a Vermont boundary here. Let's just see what that is. Work either. Let's try region towns. There we go. Cool. So it looks like this one didn't work. But yes, um, but these two did. So already we've made a pretty simple map. Uh, where we have a base layer, and on top of the base layer, we can see every single town boundary in each of these states. So good for you. That's the first step, and we'll get on to symbolizing them in just a moment.